Welcome back guys. In this tutorial, I will show you how to set up an environment for React development. First of all, we will need Node.js. Node.js is the software needed for React.js development as it has built-in npm that allows you to install packages in your application. So if you don't have Node.js installed in your machine, just open your browser and type Node.js install. Click the first link and there make sure to install the LTS version of Node.js for your operating system. I will simply download it for Windows. Once the downloading is done, go to the download folder and double click to open the installer and go through the installation procedure, it's very easy. Once the installation has completed, just check whether Node.js is installed on your machine. For that, open the command prompt and type node-version. And there you go, it shows the version of Node.js installed in your computer. Similarly, you can check the version of npm using the command npm-version. Now we also need an IDE for writing React.js code. We can use Notepad to write code, but it will be very time taking. That's why we need an IDE or integrated development environment that has some features and that makes us code faster. So you can use any editor you like but I will use VS Code from Microsoft that is very powerful especially web developer uses VS Code so much. So first of all let's install VS Code. Just open your browser and type VS Code install and go to first link and just download it for your operating system. I will simply install it for Windows And after the downloading has completed, just go to download location and double click to open the installer. Just go through the installation procedure once again and there make sure to select all the checkboxes and then proceed to next. And once the installation is completed, just open VS Code and there we need to install some extensions. That will make our life easier. So the first extension is going to be React extension. Then you need to install material theme and material icons. Material icons will give your files beautiful and related icons. Whereas with material theme, you can customize the look of your code editor. It has some beautiful themes that you can use. So I will use this darker theme. Now this was all for setting up an IDE for React.js. So after successfully installing Node.js and NPM which is a Node Packager and that is installed with Node.js and also after setting up the Visual Studio Code IDE we can now start installing React using NPM. First of all select your directory or folder of installation. So I want to create a React project in my E drive and inside this drive I will create a folder called as React Course without spaces and there I will open my CMD by doing Ctrl A on the top and by writing CMD the command prompt will open. Here you can install React.js using the create React app command. Just type npx create React app and then just name your app. So as I want to install React in the current folder and don't want a subfolder inside the current folder where all the React files go. So I will put dot which means install React in the current directory or folder. After that just hit enter. So this will now install the node modules and other files related to React and set up everything for us. Now in the meanwhile it is installing. I will tell you a little about npx. So npx is just used for one time installation of react on your machine. Whereas using npm you can install react globally on your machine but we don't need that. So that's why npx is modern and more suitable than following two steps installing. We are first of all we need to install react globally and then creating projects anywhere in the computer. So why not we should create a project directly. So this is the reason why most of the people uses npx to create a react application. So now the installation is completed and there you go it says happy hacking. Now let's open this with vs code by using code and dot next to it. So this command will open the project inside visual studio code. Now in order to run our react app let's open a terminal by using shortcut key that is control plus backticks and there just type npm start. 
So this will start your react application on localhost port 3000. So this is the default app that react provides. Now in order to create our own very first react application that displays hello world on the screen. Let's go to the code editor and there inside src folder and app.js which is the root component of our application. We will talk about components in the next videos but for now just write after me. So just clear everything inside the return of our app function and just display hello world inside h1 tag after that just save your code using ctrl plus s button on your keyboard and this will automatically reload the application and because react has hot reloading feature that's why any changes you made in the code gets reflected in the browser so just navigate to the browser and there you go our very first react application has been created which says hello world congratulations now if you have some issues regarding installation and setup make sure that you ask in the comments down below this video also make sure that you have node version greater than 14 installed in order to use react and make sure that you have windows 8 10 or higher installed in order to work with react so that's it for this video in the next video we will talk about these files that are installed by create react app and understand how they are connected and how we get this hello world on the screen so make sure to stay tuned subscribe to our channel and also press the bell icon next to it so that you never miss our future videos also if you want the source code of projects which i will be creating in this course you can find that on patch Patreon with as little amount as $2. The link to my Patreon page is given in the description. Thanks a lot for watching.